let's first of all talk about because we're brought in an issue of the the budget the budget issue uh third way alliance party your main aim is to deal with the wage bill yes that is quite escalating it's quite a skyrocketing thing right now yeah, yeah some of the ways that you have do you think they are really possible yes they are, they are possible you know everything can uh, negotiate can Just. be negotiated um recurrent expendi expenditure we we have seen cases of uh mps who don't even know each other we have too many mps representing us and uh, we have seen uh, other countries uh, even bigger than kenya mm -hmm. they have uh, less uh, representatives in the in the parliament so that is one way of uh, reducing the uh, the wage bill and expenditure actually the most effective we have seen also the women rep uh, positions and uh, we need to to reduce to get rid of those positions yes because we don't feel they are necessary you see <laughs> yes <laughs> yes i am i am i'm against funguza muziko there's a third, the third, the third, the third, the third, the third alliance, the third alliance proposals. I told you they are too ambitious. Any country that is developing, the wage bill has to go up all the time, because you need new employees, you need people to take the country further. You cannot keep on reducing as if you want to stagnate. You cannot stagnate. Number two. You cannot scrap the women, the women positions in this country. The voters in this country are women. The majority are women. And the women in this country are working for the women groups in a better way than before. Mm -hmm. So to me, devolution should not be touched. Right. And the way they are touching... The way they are talking of reducing the members of parliament, yes. that one is a no, and it will never happen in this country. Uh, yeah. Before I come to you, before I come to you, like he has just mentioned something about overrepresentation. Do you think we, as citizens, we are overrepresented? We are. You are not overrepresented. We are. If if are. if in my constituency, yes. my constituency uh, population is 140 people, one person, okay. One person representing 140 people. Thousand people. 140,000 people. Right. I'm not able even to know their names. I'm not able even to meet their needs. Okay? Don't As a member of parliament. Uh -huh. And I'm supposed to do that. Yes. So, it is actually, it, we, are, we, we are supposed to, to like, like for example, when you, when you take the policeman, the policeman yes. should be decreased should be 10 people per police person, okay? But now how many, how many people per, poli per one police person? Maybe 400 people. 400, even 4,000, okay? One yes. policeman. And then you say the wage bill is going up. Mm. It is not going up. This country is developing. And for any country to develop, because it is not stagnant, the wage bill has to go up because we need... You know, when you mention about, about development, I'm going to ask something. Mm. Machakos is developing, yes? yes? We can say that. Right. How about other counties that we've been hearing of, like, there's some sort of stagnation? Let me tell you. A leader is the driver of every, every, um, every count. The governor vision yes. is the one that is supposed to drive that count. Okay? Mm -hmm. If some governors came there, for the sake of making some little income. Then they have no interest for the people to develop the, the, the count. But if you went there with a vision and a mission mm -hmm. to develop the, the, your people and empower your people, then you will do it. But you find some people have got some other missions. Okay? Well, yes. uh, uh, now that we are in Punguza, Mexico, uh, let me say, are we there right, right? Yes, yes, we can just go ahead. Um, you see, something, when the means is not okay, the end is not justified. Let me begin by that. I would like to acknowledge the fact that uh, the leader of Tadu Alliance tried as much as possible to get the signatures, which is in question as we speak. Let me begin from there. The amendment of a constitution through a popular initiative, that is chapter 16, article 257, elaborates on the chapters how this amendment should be done. I agree that there was a bill, uh, the amendment bill 2019 for Punguza Mizigo, which 
did not begin by a question. And you know very well, they didn't begin by a question. It went straight to a bill. Contravention of the Constitution. All right. Secondly, the other thing that I would like to say, because, you know, Kenyans, we are not reading. We are not finding out what is going on. Secondly, you see, the collection of signatures, 1.2, that is okay. Third way lands met the threshold. That is very okay. But then the Constitution is very clear on something. That in between, the process that the Third Way Alliance hands the signature mm -hmm. and the certificate to IBC, between that process and by the time Chepukati <coughs> sends the bill to 47 counties, something important needs to have happened. The verification of signatures. Now, while that took place at Kenya Institute of Curriculum Development Studies, the Constitution is very clear, and the IBC, uh, sorry, the, um, the, the Elections Act is very clear on what should have been done. In that, the IBC, through a reciprocatory order, should ask that all those who signed the signatures, through a gazette notice, yes. and through popularizing that through any local dailies, mm -hmm. people should come and confirm that indeed. Yes. I, Daniel, from Alego Usonga or Uriri, this is my signature, and I give it authority to be used yes. for amendment of the Constitution. Mm -hmm. Did that happen? Uh, we followed. Be, be, before you respond that, that happen. Be, before he responds, no, 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 I want us to match these two issues you together. See, it's, it's important yes. for us because I'm very passionate about this Punguza Mexico because for us, Kenyans have been in the loop of trying to whip, you know, whipping emotions of Kenyans. Mm -hmm. Now, secondly, that was not that either. Be, 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 before, you, before, you, before you go on, I want us to match the issue of uh, the budgetary allocation and, of course, the Punguza Mizigo Bill. Because the budgetary is still a stalemate. And yesterday, the, the governor you, of you, Kakamega... You cannot match both. I want us to look at it. I want to look at it topics. this way. Because the budgetary is still an issue. They are reducing the wage bill. That's what their aim, main aim is. They want to reduce the wage bill. While us, we still want to look at another issue that still stands there. So you said something that was really important, that you want him to respond. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Uh, and you see, I was, I was coming to this budget. You, that, that is, uh, you <laughs> yes. taken me out of the <laughs> <All right>. line <laughs> of thought. Okay. Now, uh, he would actually respond. So wh while that didn't happen, and Elog participated in the verification, and they gave a statement. And the statement that they gave, they were very authentic, authentic statement. They say that, first of all, they are not faulting the third way alliance, but the problem is with the IBC mm -hmm. because IBC faulted the process of constitutional amendment. IBC went ahead and took the signatures to 47 county assemblies minus the verification that should be have been published in the dailies and in the website. IBC only published those signatures on the website. Now, Wanjiku in Masinga in Muranga do not have an access to website of IBC. What tells me that he gave an authority for his signatures to be used for mm -hmm. an amendment? Mm -hmm. Secondly, this bill, there are two things that can happen to this bill. There will be no public participation carried out by IBC as required in the Elections and the and Amendment Act. Act yes. As we speak, this bill, it is at the mercy of the county assemblies. If Wanjiku, you either accept it the way it is or reject it the way it is, minus mm -hmm public participation so kenyans do not have a direct input so what you're saying they are not giving the citizens the right to give the assumption views. is by the point that we were collecting signatures we were educating the citizen that could be the assumption but let me let me tell you in any amendment of a constitution you are here in 2005 yes. mm -hmm. you are here in, in 2010 2029 mm -hmm. when when yes and green and whatever yes ibc took by then it was called, I don't know what it was called. It took an opportunity to educate Kenyans. Unachagua chungwa, amunachagua banana. That was the point that I, public participation, education. Mm -hmm. Even in this constitution, chukwa yes or no. no. Mm -hmm. But in this one, it's either at the masses of county assemblies. If yes. the county assemblies are going to pass the way I, I look it is, it is going to be passed by the way at the 24 oh. county <laughs> assemblies. The, it seems there is more enthusiastic that this bill is going to pass. Mm -hmm. Well, Kenya will not have an input except through the masses of the county assembly. Lastly, if the bill is returned to the parliament, 
and our members of parliament, one of represented here. Yes. Do you know that the, the law is very silent? That should you majority not pass that bill, what happens to it? It just goes. It proceeds. Mm. All right. I want to give an opportunity to respond, mm. but before I do that, Moshima, you seem to be agreeing with that. Yes, I am agreeing with you. Yes. Because a verification must have been done. Uh -huh. Because if I, if I put my signature myself, and you don't go to the registration of persons, even to verify whether that is my signature, mm -hmm. you should have even put the signature with your thumb so that you verify properly right. in, 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 the, in the right way. So the way the, the third alliance has come, they, 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 are, they, are, they are taking people unaware, and IBC is the one to blame. Because they are the ones who are saying the singleness are right. Yeah. How did they verify? And no public participation, as he says. Nobody was called to come and say, this is my signature, and I agree to this. Mm -hmm. So, Punguza <coughs> Muziko is something that is being forced in the throats of Kenyans. And it is not right. Just yes. Is that so? Do you think you are forcing this into no, the eyes no, of Kenya? I don't think we are forcing because these are opinions which came from the people. You see, we went and uh, approached the, the people all over the country and asked them for ideas according to the issues the country uh, is facing. We asked them, how do you feel and uh, what should we do about it? We took notes and we came back to the office and uh, we started drafting this bill. And uh, another thing is uh, we went to IBC which uh, other referendums have failed to do. We asked them what is the procedure that we need to do for us to achieve this uh, referendum. Yes. And uh, they told us the steps to take and that's what we followed. Uh, the verification exercise, they, they said that they have every uh, voter registered in their database. So they didn't need to call or uh, verify from anyone because they have all the information with them. That is, uh, that is why um, the, the process is uh, credible, if you ask me. Uh, according mm -hmm. to what he, he, he alleged, let me use yeah. the word alleged, yeah. he said very clearly mm -hmm. that the signatures still have an issue. Mm -hmm. they, have not yet been, they, they have been confirmed by IABC, but still they are in question. How can you respond to that? Well, if they have an issue, anyone that has an issue with the, with the signatures, we can uh, go ahead and try to see what, uh, if they are legit or not. I know for sure they are legit, so that is not an issue that scares us. No, 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 no my friend. This yeah. is now where, as a country, you see, we still have a problem with IBC, as we speak, especially on the data, on oh, the right. protection of the data that is here. When you go vote, one of the things you do is to confirm whether your signature is within the data. Mm -hmm. any, any election process. Mm -hmm. You cannot tell me mm -hmm. that I am assuming that since you are a voter, this will be the correct signature. Who tells you that I might have changed it? Yes. This, this time, how are mm -hmm. you sure that this is my signature that's still like this? So, first of all, I am saying that for that way, mm -hmm. I am probably, we would little fault. But the problem, like Moshimeo said, IBC should be questioned. And as we speak, probably somebody will run to court and mm -hmm. question how then would my signature be validated. Now coming to proposals, ridiculous. You understand? Mm -hmm. Direct proportional. For example, you are saying that I elect two people, that the county, I don't know whether the county becomes the basis of something, that now you elect two people mm -hmm. to meet the gender. Nairobi has a population of around 4 million. Lamu has a population of about 250. Now, these two people are going to represent, you know, an equal measure of people. So, uh, disabusing the principle of proportional representation. The other thing that I also like for, you know, for us to have come up with a constitution for gender balance, there is a procedure. You do not have a radical proposal to scrap the position of women representative, to scrap the position of members of you know national assembly, to scrap the position of nominated. There is an issue about you know trying to meet inclusion, and inclusion. So the other thing is how what what informed the idea of a single term president? I mean for seven years. That is why I'm saying this 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 is an initiative that needs to be restored. And, and I am appealing to the county assemblies. I am really appealing to the county assemblies and the national assembly. Should this thing be well, because it's political. Right now, as we speak, 
the members of county assembly, you hear very well. This is appealing to them because they were denied the World Development Fund. And it was taken through the National Government CDF Fund. Yes. So whenever you try to put something to the National Assembly, uh, the County Assembly, and call it the World Development Fund, they would vote it. What do you expect? They would, that is why I'm saying, and as I conclude, Dr. Akuro Akot was one of the members of Committee of Experts in this new constitution. Yes. What has changed that right now there is a need for him to come and amend some sections of the constitution? Uh, let me respond. <laughs> yes. On the, on the seven year term presidency. Briefly, kindly. Yeah. We felt that um, after the, the second term, mm -hmm. we find that the president, uh, after the first term, that is, we find that the last years of the, the first term, the presidency, the presidency is focused mm -hmm. on campaigns, on the elections. Not, uh, not necessarily services. So we felt that if we have a one-term presidency, it gives uh, the president uh, enough uh, adequate uh, time to focus his attention on the service delivery. Then uh, it reduces the, the issue of do or die. The do or die uh, on uh, campaigns on the elections. We feel that uh, seven years is enough time mm -hmm. for Kenyans to see if uh, they need to change a president uh, or not. Yeah. Uh, don't and you uh, think you're removing mm -hmm. uh, the rights from the citizens mm -hmm. to re-elect the presidents? Don't you think that you are depriving them the rights to? Um, no, no, not really, not really, because um, it depends. It depends on the, on the situation in the country. Yeah. All right, all right. Probably I know there's so much that we can comment when we talk about that. Mm -hmm. But I want us to shift gears for now, and we talk about the treasury. Uh, Henry Rotit, the, the seers, of treasury was arrested alongside his peers amongst 16 others and on tuesday they were arraigned in court and on wednesday the president called upon labor cs okuria tani and appointed him to be the acting cs treasury this in, is in the fight of cause of a corruption what do you think will okuria tani perform <laughs> well I, I think uh, uh, first of all i am one of the kenyans who uh, you know believe that you see, once the president uh, have a replacement, there's a due checking, you know, like uh, he might have checked you there to right. see that he's suitable to occupy that position. <laughs> what I am against, however, mm -hmm. is the fact that right now it becomes a point to be discussed in political rally. You see? Yes. For the first time, we've had somebody from Nomadic and all these things, and Eden Dual is running Helter Skelter and the rest. Well, it's, it's important for, you know, for, for matters of inclusion. But then I think whatever you begin to politicize, you know, these appointments and begin to make it look like, you know, um, the other communities are, were considered this and that, the others are not considered, I think is right. But right now, concerning, Treasury is a very, uh, very key, you know, uh, okay. portfolio yes. in the docket in this country. Mm -hmm. And you could have realized that in between when Rotich was taken to court, and by the time the president actually replaced him in Korea term, yes. the dollar had actually, the, the Kenyan shilling had drastically dropped against the dollar. And there was uncertainty in the stock exchange. Mm -hmm. So actually it showed you that the investors were now becoming wary mm -hmm. for the fact that, you know, uh, there was a gap that is that. But immediately that was done, I think you've actually seen the dollar actually beginning to, you know, Kenyan shilling sustainably gaining towards mm -hmm. the dollar. So for me, it's quite important. Now, the task that is here is simple. Mm -hmm. Could you check if Miss, if is, because it's become a, a scandalous in this country. Is there another way Ukuria Tan will begin to audit on how, for example, the money transfers have been done and how, and secondly, the projects are already stopped. Yes. One of the most important things, I would even mm -hmm. wish that Ukuria Tan would give address or just talk to the nation mm -hmm. on how we'd want to recover how we'd want to make the treasury again be seen mm -hmm. as the most important portfolio in terms of driving the agenda and aligning yes. mm -hmm. any financial issue with the big four agenda. This is the most important thing for the president right now. Mm -hmm. The big four agenda, the fight against corruption and inclusion. Those are the three things the president will either behave or go down the drain in the legacy. Do you think Okuru Yatani will manage to change the image of the treasury? One thing uh, you should know that is that the uh, treasury is the drive yes. of this country. Yes. And we could not, uh, the president could not leave it for any longer because things had come to a standstill. And uh, the CSU has been appointed to act 
acting does not mean you are there permanently. He is holding two dockets. Mm. So he is acting as the president searches for a suitable replacement of Rutich. And if he finds that uh, the CS Yatani is able to perform, mm -hmm. why not? Then he will, he will be able to appoint somebody else on the labor docket and then, uh, the, then he will remain. So, but one thing is for, for Sata, he cannot change things just overnight. Mm -hmm. But the best thing is that uh, the people that have been working behind the scenes, majority of them are there. The PS who was appointed was the PS planning. So he's the one who was planning the whole thing and they give to Rutich, right? Mm -hmm. So he, he is now the PS for Treasury. And the other people, you see, you see that th th that is a docket with the brains, with people with the brains. So nothing has changed so far. Mm -hmm. The only thing is that they have the to head. sit down and uh, strike a balance okay. on, how it, on how to run the country so that things will not stand still. So to me, it is a stopover for him and uh, we, we cannot write him off. He's an economist, as, uh, as people say. Right, with what Mujuma said, yeah. uh, the, 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 the challenge that could be there is that the persons who are already, already in the docket, yeah. other than the, the lead, the head that is the seers and his peers, mm -hmm. do you think they can hinder the work of Okuriatan as the acting seers? Yes, they can hinder because they have to work together. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Okuri Atani, I agree with Dan, uh, he should come uh, release a press statement uh, or a press conference to explain to Kenyans uh, his plans and how he's going to reform the treasury sector so that we can be able to hold him to account after a certain period. Mm -hmm. Right now, I can't dismiss him, mm -hmm. uh, so we just have to give him enough time and uh, we see the actions that he'll be taking. I, I want I want what's done. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you think the issue of stepping aside is really will help in fighting corruption? <laughs> uh, I mean, you could have asked when it's possible in, in this country. <laughs> <All right. laughs> is it possible uh, in Kenya? Uh, you, know, <laughs> you, you see, uh, most of the times you've had statements that I would rather die than, <laughs> not than step aside, or even 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 step aside. So, um, well, uh, we're actually beginning to uh, you know have a sense in which. Um, uh, let's, you see, the Public Ethics Act mm -hmm. actually envisaged the point where all state officers and public officers should be accountable. And accountability means that when you are mentioned, mm -hmm. I'm not saying that res resignation is quite, you know, an elaborate process, but for the purposes of your dignity and the purposes of transparency and accountability, just set aside. Say, you know, this is what is happening. Why would I give space for investigation? Because I know I am, I, am, I, am, I am innocent. But as you speak, it's not really possible in Kenya. And uh, ever since I've had people uh, from Kimonia's time, yeah. from anybody who is saying, you know, for me, I would even just rather die than even just step aside for this position. <laughs> but if it's something that we can inculcate, yes. then it, 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 it teaches young people the importance of responsibility with the public office. But the fact that when you are implicated, it not necessarily means you committed the crime. Mm -hmm. It means that people are just suspecting. So what you do, give enough space. And by the way, you never know that wherever you step aside investigation be done, you come back very strong and, and very respected and dignified. Then you hang up there and then you, f you find in a corrupt, corrupt cases, then you find time struggling to explain yourself. So I think it's, it's something that we should think about. Probably you can, yes. To me, st uh, stepping aside is now uh, being pronounced by the court. The court has said it is unconstitutional to stay there while you are being investigated. So they have to step aside mm -hmm. so that they are investigated. If you are found you are clean, then come back. If you are found guilt, then you go to jail. That is the thing. So so they have to step as they have to step aside. There is no two ways. The law will have to be enforced. And especially the people that are leading the investigation, the prosecutions, mm -hmm. will make sure that it is, it, is, it is followed to the letter. How possible is it for one to come back? It, it is possible. If you are found, it's, it's yes. allegations. Yes. If there are allegations, mm -hmm. the rule of law 
will apply. Yes. So if you are found not guilty, you will come back. Like for example, the people that stepped aside in the procurement and the accountings of the governments, mm -hmm. majority of them came down, came back. 80% came back. The others went home. All right. Yes. Unfortunately, uh, Honorable. Yes, yeah. kindly briefly because oh. of time. Yes, uh, because of conflict of interest, it is uh, it is more prudent for them to step aside because when once they're in office, yeah. they, are, they have power to influence uh, the investigation and intimidate the process. Mm -hmm. So the best thing uh, it for them is to step aside, mm -hmm. and I think there's that law. So the, the thing is enforcing it. That's the problem. All right, because of time, I think we need to call it a wrap. I want to hear your yeah. parting shot. My parting so shot is, is it, it's, it's the revenue. Pardon? Revenue. Division. We, we, we just mentioned briefly on it as the parting shot. My, my, my parting shot is, is quite simple. You know, as a country, we are, you know, in, in, in a quagmire right now. Uh -huh. And one of the things we need to strongly uh, advise the citizens of the Republic of Kenya is to put uh, a critical eye into any proposals that are made that benefits them. We're having two proposals that are running right now. The Building Bridges Initiative, which is questionable. Punguza Mzigo, which is more questionable. And, and, and another one, where the religious leaders, I don't know, there was another proposal. I, I think for us as a country, it's quite important for citizens to be rather proactive mm -hmm. and converse these matters openly mm -hmm. so that they would rather find a solution than being confused by the political class. But then the other question is, the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission and, and the Act, I think it's important for right now, before you are compelled to, to step aside, it's important to honor mm -hmm. the dignity of the office that you hold, rather than the, 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 the constitution or the laws compelling you to step aside. All right. Yeah. Yes, I wanted to briefly mention about the budgetary as a, as a parting shot. Yes. Uh, about the budget, Yes. Uh, the wisdom that divided the budget of, of the counties and the national government. Yes. And I gave the, the governors 316 billion. To me, it should prevail. That should stand. Because the president has said there is no money anywhere else. Mm -hmm. And the people are not even paying their taxes. People have been evading taxes. They, 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 they. So the, the country has not been able to have enough wealth for the, 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 the money to be, to, be, to be increased as the governor's word. And also, yes. something I must mention, in the account of the county governments, there is still 51 billion which was unutilized for the last financial year. That means they are unable to consume okay. if they are given more. So let them use what they have. All right, your parting shot. Uh, my parting shot, can I respond to him a bit uh, on the BBI? Uh, he brought it up. <laughs> and also, let me just uh, mention one, one or two things. Um, the BBI, how they have been doing their process, it's already questionable because they are going to boardrooms and they are picking representative, like a youth representative to speak on the youth. Punguza Mzigo, what we did, we went to the people one by one, so we can see which one is more questionable from that. Where are they? They haven't verified their signatures, these people you went to. Let's call it a day.